Last month, the Freedom Foundation sent our policy and grassroots organizing experts out across Washington State for another one of our Free Washington tours. This is something the Freedom Foundation has been doing for several years now, and really it's a part of our DNA. The Freedom Foundation is based in Olympia. But we don't believe that change is supposed to come from Olympia. It's supposed to come to Olympia from people across Washington state. The beginning of our state constitution says all political power is inherent in the people. But that's only true if the people actually have the information about what's going on and about how to do something about it. That's what the Freedom Foundation and the Free Washington Tour is all about. And I wanna share with you a couple of the topics that we addressed on the tour. You can find out about everything I'm going to talk about today and everything the Freedom Foundation works on every day at myfreedomfoundation.com. On the Free Washington tour, we did a little bit of a wrap up from the legislative session and then pivoted toward what citizens can do this summer, this fall with elections coming up to change Washington state for the better. The legislative session was interesting as they have been for a couple of years with the state Senate uh, narrowly divided, a, a majority cobbled together with Republicans and a couple of Democrats. All that is coming apart. And uh, the legislative session reminds us how important one or two votes and, and personalities are in the state legislature, in this case in the state Senate, but the state house could be very close after the elections this fall. And the, the reality was that with Senator Rodney Tom, who had been a Republican, became a Democrat, moved back to caucus with the Republicans and give them the majority last year, uh, he's very fiscally conservative. And so he pulled the whole state Senate, the whole conversation in Olympia, to the right, to the fiscally conservative position uh, in, in all of the legislative debates, but he's not running again. And so the legislature is going to look dramatically different after the 2014 elections. And of course, in 2015, when they sit back down in early January, they have a new state budget to write. So all this is very important. And a good reminder, again, of how important one vote, one personality is in Olympia, how incumbent it is on all of us as voters to really think hard about who we send to Olympia to represent us. Now, what can you do? What can citizens do? You know, the, the focus of much of what the Freedom Foundation is doing is public sector labor unions. And summer, unfortunately, is secret meeting season in Olympia. It's when Governor Inslee's appointees and uh, labor union executives sit down in secret meetings behind closed doors, uh, away from the state legislature, away from the people, away even from union members, and negotiate over your tax dollars and come up with union contracts that, that in many ways bind the hands of the legislature when they sit down to write that budget next year. The Freedom Foundation thinks all of this is very wrong. It's not fair to taxpayers. It's not fair to anybody. But what can you do about it? You know, oftentimes in politics, we tend to look up. We, we tend to look up to Washington, D.C. or to the state capitol. We think that change comes from the top. I think that's a lie in many cases. It, it's something that the progressives have foisted on us that uh, people tend to assume that, that change is going to come from the top and hopefully it trickles down to us. That's not how it's supposed to work. And actually, if you care as much as we do at the Freedom Foundation about union reform, there is a lot that you can do at the local level. One of the things you need to do is let union members you know know that they have choices right now under state law and under federal constitutional law, they can avoid paying for union politics. If they have religious objections, they can avoid paying union dues altogether, although they do have to give the same amount of money to a, uh, to a, a charity that they choose. And thirdly, union members can actually get rid of their union. They can band together, decertify their union. We've seen some union members get out of uh, big national and, and statewide unions and, and even create their own local only unions, uh, which provide some of the benefits that these workers wanted, but without the high costs and lack of control that comes with affiliating with big state and national unions. That's something that everybody can do. We all know people who are unionized that's something that anybody can do. We all know workers who are in unions, and I've discovered 
many unionized workers just don't know what their options are. You can educate people about that. But at the policy level, there are things that we can do in local government. There are activists around Washington State right now beginning to take to their city and county officials ordinances that would require union negotiations at the city or county level to be open to the public. An even more impactful option that you can take to local governments would be to pass an ordinance that says that your local government, your city or your county, cannot force workers to join unions. Now, this is something a lot of local government officials don't understand. Some local government officials don't want you to understand that they actually have the power when they sit down and negotiate with union executives to refuse to force workers to join unions. It's called a union security clause. Union executives want to make sure it gets in that union contract because they want to have a monopoly. Who wouldn't, right? But local government officials, city, county, school district, they can refuse to accept a union security clause which keeps their workers free. And we the people can go to our local officials and insist that they refuse to accept union security clauses and keep workers free in our own communities. That's a powerful idea. That's actually how Scott Walker got his start, working as a county level official in Wisconsin and coming to realize how abusive these unions were when he sat down to, to negotiate with them in good faith. I think we should follow in the footsteps of Wisconsin and start our union reform efforts at the local level. Another thing that happens this summer is union negotiations at the school district level. And again, you can go to school board members and say, we don't want teachers forced to join the unions. But you can also go to your school board members and ask for a lot of things when it comes to union negotiations. And when those negotiations are coming up, if your school district has contract negotiations this summer, that is the window when teachers can actually choose to opt out of their union entirely and either create a new union, a local only union, or simply do without a union altogether and negotiate like most people do in the private sector with their school district. These are some of the topics we talked about on the Free Washington Tour last month, our post-session Free Washington Tour. We'll be back out in your community after the elections this fall to talk about what happened in the elections and to pivot toward the legislative session, an important legislative session. Everyone anticipates that the divide in Olympia, it's going to be close and a new state budget is going to be written. Uh, the governor is likely to try to tie the legislature's hands with union contract negotiations this summer, but the legislature has some options. They can stand up, they can push back, uh, and all of that pressure ultimately is going to come from, from us, from the people of Washington State. Um, it's in our hands, and I hope you'll stand with the Freedom Foundation. I hope you'll join the Freedom Foundation. Go to our website, myfreedomfoundation.com, find out what we're doing, and join us, become a member of the Freedom Foundation, stand with the Freedom Team in Washington State, and I hope you'll join us at the next Free Washington Tour. Thanks so much.